Hi everyone, I'm Lava Bad. Welcome. Today for lunch, I'm making spinach ravioli with Frances sauce. And um, this is the ravioli that I previously made in a video. And there will be a link below so that you can check that out. It was a fail, but I did manage to make a couple. For the sauce, I am starting off with two tablespoons of butter and one teaspoon of garlic, minced garlic. Um, it's also equivalent of one clove. I do have that pot of water starting to boil for the pasta. And in the background, that little saucepan, I have one teaspoon of chicken powder or a one bouillon cube with one cup of water because I'm going to need that for the sauce in a minute. I just added one teaspoon of flour and I'm stirring that in just to cook that flour taste out so it doesn't taste you know like raw flour I'm adding half a cup of dry wine I chose Pinot Grigio because that's what I drink I'm going to add half a cup of the chicken stock or chicken broth juice of one whole lemon bring that to a boil and put it on medium heat I'm adding salt to the water for the pasta make sure that the water is at a boil before you add the salt and then I'm adding the ravioli making sure that I stir so that they do not stick to the bottom of the pan and if you're using frozen ravioli then you do not want to thaw that out you want to keep them frozen and if you're using it fresh then Remember to cook it only for about three minutes. I, I cooked it for six minutes and I, I overcooked it. So if it's frozen and it's fresh frozen, then I would cook it for like four minutes and check it. I'm adding salt and pepper to the sauce. And I'm adding two tablespoons of capers that I've drained. Stir that up and again bring it back to a simmer. Now, two things I would have done differently. I would have undercooked the pasta by two minutes because I cooked it for six. So I would have just cooked it for four. And I also would have reduced that sauce a little bit more. But as soon as the pasta is ready, just plate it and put sauce on top and add parmesan and parsley I didn't have fresh parsley on hand so I did use the dried parsley I was debating either creamy sauce or a more lighter one and this is the one that I chose. I liked it because it's tart um, and it's just good. I thought the, the flavors went really, really well together. I'm using freshly grated Parmesan cheese, which is super fancy for me, <laughs> but it was good. I would have added more cheese also. Alright, well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you use this recipe, let me know in the comments below and let me know if you liked it or not. I'd really, really, really like to know. Um, if you're on Instagram and you make this, share pictures with me. Alright, thanks for watching. Alright, bye.